guys, welcome back to Ash Timber Fest. Today's video is going to be on this neon clown. Let me tell you, when I started this look, I had no idea where I was going with it, but I really like the way that this turned out. I think it's so cute. I used so many, I didn't use this one actually, I'm lying. I used so many of the Lemonhead LA neon glitters. Love, they're so pretty. I also used their magic highlighter. Houdini, which I thought was really cute. I just finished watching Euphoria and I had to go get all these Lemonhead glitters that the makeup artists from the show were using and I, I got every single one that they make, so I wanted to put them to use here. <laughs> I also was inspired by a makeup artist on Instagram who did this hair on one of her clients for a shoot and I will link her down below so you can check her out. She does really cool stuff. I also dyed this wig by myself, so you'll also be getting a tutorial on that, so stay tuned. Really quick before I get into this tutorial, I do wanna let you know you can enter today's giveaway if you check in the description box over on Instagram. You can also find Astroberfest 4 merch down there, and if you have anything, I'd love to see you wearing it, so tag me on Instagram and I'll post you to my stories. Thank you guys so much for all the support so far on Astroberfest this year. It's been the most fun year yet. I know I said it last year, but like this year I went all in. I started so early and I just love the way everything turned out, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. You can also find all the products that I used for this look in the description box, and let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So starting off, I'm gonna go ahead and block out my brows using a washable glue stick. I say this time and time again, I am not the best person at doing this. I have not got it down, so I'm gonna speed through this, but basically, you're gonna wanna watch someone else's tutorial. <laughs> the basic gist of this is that you wanna put a ton of glue stick into your eyebrows, comb it up straight into the air, lay it flat against your face, let it dry, add more glue, do this a couple times, and then set it with powder and cover it with foundation. Now, for some reason, I don't know if it's because my eyebrows are way too thick, but this doesn't always work for me. I'm using my Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder to really pack this in and look at my neck muscles here. What the hell is going on? I was really trying to make this work for me for once. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep away all of the extra powder. I kind of jump around here, but I'm starting out with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer, and I'm just going to prime my eyelids with that first. Then I'm going to go into my ABH and Alyssa Edwards palette. I'm going to be using the blue and purple from this palette. And I start to do my eyeshadow here. I'm using the purple, and I'm just kind of packing that on. And then light bulb, I realize I should probably paint my face first. <laughs> So I'm using the Makeup Forever Color White Cream Paint and I'm just gonna be painting my entire face first with a brush just to kind of get it on there. Then I'm going over with a Beauty Blender just to make sure it's not too cakey. And I'm also setting with my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder. All right, we're good to go on the eyes now. So I'm going back in with that purple shade from the Alyssa Edwards palette. And I'm starting on the inner corner of my eye with this one and I'm really packing this on and I'm gonna be building this up as I go. So I'm jumping around again. I'm gonna go ahead and draw on my eyebrows. I'm using the Benefit Roller Liner in black for this and I'm just eyeballing it. See, my eyebrows are not completely covered because this was a little bit difficult to draw over. My thick brow hairs, but I kind of got them down. I wanted to look like a little sad clown. Next, I'll be going in with the blue shade and I'm just gonna take this on the outer portion of the eye. First, I'm just packing it on and then I'm gonna come in and build it up in a second. Going into the Huda Beauty Neon Pink Obsessions palette, I'm using the light purple to kind of diffuse out that purple shade in the front of my eyes there. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this blue Stargazer pigment and just kind of smoke this out. I'm gonna speed right through this portion. I'm just cutting the crease here. It's very satisfying to watch. Now I'm gonna do two different shades on each eye. I'm gonna be doing Neon Orange and Neon Pink. These are the Lemonhead LA Space Paste Glitters. These are the neon shades Commando and Holly Weird. So I'm just gonna be packing those on. I do need to tell you guys, these dry down really weird over top of that primer. They almost got matte and kind of would flake off throughout the day. So keep that in mind. Maybe you don't wanna put the primer underneath of it. I'm not really sure. So I was just coming up with this look kind of on the spot. I had an idea in my head but that's why I'm jumping around a bit because I kind of would think of a new idea and wanted to take it somewhere else. So I'm going in with a black eyeshadow from the Alyssa Edwards palette, and I'm just gonna be cutting out the crease a little bit more to add some more shadow and definition. So I add a little black
black pigment and then I would blend it out and go back in. Now for the inner corners, I have some neon pigments from Stargazer that I got off Amazon. And I'm going to be putting this on the inner corner of both eyes. I'm also going to be lining my eyes with the ColourPop gel liners in Boots and Puppy. I didn't remember the name for a second. Going back into that Alyssa Edwards palette, I'm just going to be smoking out the lower lash line using the pink and the purple. For my cheeks, I wanted a little bit of a lighter neon pink, so I'm going back into the Huda Beauty Neon Pink Obsessions palette. And I'm just going to be drawing cute little diffuse circles on my cheeks as well as my nose. And I'm going back to the eyes again to add a little bit more blue to that outer portion of my eye there on the lower lash line. I'm also adding some black just for more definition. And next I took the Houdini Space Paste. I think this is actually technically called a highlighter, but it's just glitter. And I'm going to be putting that kind of as like glittery tears coming down my face a little bit. Adding more tears, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Roller Liner and draw just some typical little tears down my face and I'm going to be adding the heavy metal glitter liner in Disco Daydream over top of those. Off camera I added mascara and lashes and I'm ready for lips. This is the incredible neon liquid lipstick in She's Arrived and I'm just going to take a brush and kind of blend that out around my lip line. Go in with a black liquid lipstick. This is Sleepwalker by Black Moon and I'm really going to like overline my lips here. Waiting for that to dry down, I'm gonna highlight my face. I'm dipping into the Relic Moonchild Glow Kit. And I'm just gonna be adding this all over my face. Once my lips are dry, I went back in with the Huda Beauty Neon Obsessions palette and I took this purpley shimmery shade in the center and I put that all over my lips. Okay, so this is the wig that we're gonna be working with today. This is just from Amazon, pretty cheap lace front wig, very short. What I'm going to be doing is straightening this because I don't want this wig to be curly. Why else would I be straightening it? This is the front of the wig, it's kind of hard to show. Alright, so I put the wig on the little styrofoam head and it looks pretty fugly if you ask me. So to straighten this, all you're going to need is a pot of almost boiling water. So let's do that. All right, so we have this turned on, ready to go. I'm gonna wait until this water is almost boiling. You don't want it too hot because it can melt a wig. Make sure you check with the wig that you purchased how hot it can actually get and you can use like a little thermometer and measure the temperature of the water. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna eyeball it and this usually works for me. So like I said, if you're doing this for the first time, you definitely wanna check on your wig and make sure it can withstand heat. I'm using a heat resistant wig, so I just gotta wait for it to be almost boiling. So once the water looks almost bubbly like this, you can go ahead and remove it from the heat. So to straighten, you're basically just gonna dip this in. I'm just gonna do a little test piece and make sure the wig doesn't melt. Not melting here, so basically just gonna dip it in And you want to make sure all the hair gets saturated. Be very careful to not burn yourself. It's already straightening out quite a bit. I grabbed some tongs because I thought it would be easier to dunk the wig. Pretty straight. I'm just doing this on my kitchen counter, by the way, so excuse the mess. All right, so this is what I was left with. You could do this a few times and get it super straight, but I'm fine with it having a little bit of curl at the bottom and a little bit of wave here. So I'm going to wait for this to dry completely, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. All right, so I've already shown you how I straighten my wig. Now I'm going to show you how I dye it. You're going to need some spray bottles, some 70% alcohol, and some acrylic ink in the shades that you want your hair to be. So all you need to do is fill up your spray bottle with some alcohol. 
and pour in some acrylic ink. I just eyeball the amount of ink that you need. I try not to use too much because it will last you quite a long time if you wanna dye another wig. So just add it in, shake it up, and that's what I'm doing with the rest of the inks as well. Now you're gonna to wanna to do this in a very well ventilated area. I did this in our old apartment one time and we literally had to leave the house because the fumes were way too much. So please do this outside. And I have a whole tarp down in our garage to do this. So all you have to do is spray the ink onto the hair. It's gonna drip a lot, but you want it all saturated. You wanna make sure every piece of hair is saturated and covered in the color. So make sure you're lifting up each section of the hair and spraying it down. And I'm gonna do that with each color until I'm happy with the result. And you're gonna wanna let this sit out until it's completely dry. Now it's gonna feel a little stiff and weird when it's dry, but that's fine. Once it dries down completely, you can rinse it in your sink with cold water. The inks don't really come out at all. They just stick to the hair. It'll just take out that crinkly feeling that the hair has. And that's it on how to dye a synthetic wig. I'm gonna leave this out to dry. In the meantime, my mom and I went outside and spray painted some things. This is my clown hat here. So fast forward and I'm applying my wig now. This is what it looked like when it was all done. I'm gonna go ahead and take some little rubber bands and give myself some pigtails. I'm also gonna be taking some plastic lacing and I'm gonna be tying that around my hair just for a little fun situation. I saw this on an editorial Instagram makeup artist account, so I will tag that down below as well. And that is it for the hair and makeup. Let's get into the costume. So for this costume, I had no idea really what to wear at first, but I just picked whatever I had that was neon. So I picked out this neon skirt that I've had for so long and I've never worn it. This is just an orange neon maxi skirt. They had this in a few colors too. I had this neon pink, really oversized puffy blouse that I thought would be cute for this look. So I added that and tied it up. For shoes, what could be better than these rainbow patent Doc Martens? They're so cute. I also put the rainbow laces on them. That's pretty much it for this costume. I just wanted to wear as much neon as possible. So I hope you enjoyed and that's it. All right, so this is the finished neon clown look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check the description box for all the products that I used in this tutorial, as well as the costume everything. You can also find Ash Tumberfest for merch as well as how to enter today's giveaway and I will see you guys next time. Bye!